They say it's a big rich town. Well, I just come from the poorest part. Legal or illegal, baby, I gotta make it. What's up, y'all? This is Ty. Y'all know I'm hyped because tonight was the premiere, the season premiere of my show, Big Rich Town, a.k.a. Power. This is season six, the final season of Power. And I'm saying this, you know, this, I'm, I'm just excited. I'm excited. I was excited. I was glad when this day came, so I'm just ready for this show. And um, before I get started, I'm going to say spoiler alert. Say that first. And then before I get in too deep into the episode, let's talk about this theme song. Y'all know I love that theme song with Joe and 50 Cent. I just come from the poorest part. But when they did this remix thing, when I was watching it tonight, I said, theme song came on. I said, who, who's that? You know, because I'm ready to sing along. They done changed it up, changed the key, changed the format. They done remixed it. They done threw Trey songs on it and A Boogie with the hoodie along with 50 Cent. They remixed it. I researched that. 50 said he wanted a fresher, younger sound for the final season. I say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But you know what? I'm not going to be fixated on that. I wasn't too crazy about it, but then I heard it again. And I got it's growing on me a little bit. I still prefer the old theme song. But people, let's not get sidetracked. I see y'all on the internet getting mad. And we're not protesting this. We're not getting upset. We're not sending no petition. Somebody put something on Facebook to my let's make a petition to change back the theme song. Listen. Let's just make sure the show is still good. Yeah, I feel you. I get what you're saying about the theme song. But is the show still good? That's what we need. That's all we need to worry about. Is the show still good? That's what we need. I need the plot to thicken. I need the storylines to be great. I need them to go out with a bang. Speaking of bang, 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 bang. Angela Valdez is dead america's favorite was she america's favorite side piece i don't say <laughs> our favorite side piece that we just love and then sometimes we hate her and then we just love to hate her. we go back and forth with her angela is dead now i couldn't believe that they were going to do this as we saw at the end of last season it left with a cliffhanger where tommy was trying to shoot ghosts and Angela pushed Ghost out the way and she took the bullet. I thought she was going to survive and go into witness protection or something like that. Or, you know, who, whatever. Well, we see her episode. Nope. They got rid of her in the first episode of the new season. They got rid of her. And it's funny because you saw the advertisement. You see her all up in the ass. That, that was good. How y'all made us think she was going to be in this season longer. But she isn't. So, you know... This changes the dynamics. Now Ghost is pissed. Y'all done killed his boo. He done left his wife, went through all this mess, left his wife for this chick, and she dead now. Now what is Ghost going to do? You know, um, he um, Tasha don't want him no more because he may or may have not. Well, we know he's gotten rid of her side piece, you know, Mr. Silver. So... You know, he's he's just going through it. His son ain't respecting him. He's just going through it. But his boy Tommy killed Angela. Tommy was trying to kill him, though. But he's pissed about that. But give it up for the writers. That opening scene and we see Ghost just going through it. And we don't know whether Angela's dead or not yet. And he's waiting around and the police won't let him into the operating room. And they're keeping him outside. And like, no, you can't come in here. And then when we see Angela's sister come out and he asks her, how is she? And she goes, you murderer, you murderer. You know, I was still in denial. I was like, she's dead. I don't know. I, it just didn't register with me. I was like, wow, she's really dead. What are they going to do next? The sister's pissed off. She don't want no dealings with ghosts. Um, ghosts is just like hurt, hurt. So what does he do? He's coming after Tommy. He goes after Tommy. They get into this big fight at Tommy's house. And one of them was going to end up dead in that fight. But in walks old disrespectful Tariq. 
which breaks up the fight because now they got to stop. They don't want to hurt each other and kill each other in front of Tariq. Tariq ain't got no respect for ghosts. He's talking to ghosts any old kind of way, cussing and carrying on. My father would have hurt me if I would have spoke to my father the way Tariq is spe speaking to his father. But I can understand it, though. Tariq is a little in, you know, he was getting on my nerves these last few seasons. But he's in pain because his whole life, even though he's a spoiled brat, his whole life is a lie. He, say, he sees his father in a different light. He feels that his father cheated on his mother with um, Angela and that broke up the family. So I get it. I get why Tariq is angry and he has something he wants Tommy to do for him. So we see that scene and we see that Ghost is like, it's not over. Ghost wants revenge. So Ghost wants to kill Tommy. I'm not liking this. I'm not liking them at all. I like this, but this is the final season. So it has me guessing what are they going to do Next, what's going to happen? Now, I'm back at the uh, law enforcement. Law enforcement, they're all trying to figure out who killed Angela. Everything is pointing to ghosts. Everybody thinks it's him, and they think that he lured her there and killed her there. And there's a, you know, because of this big mess up, there's been a change in leadership. The black ladies tossed out to the side. They got a new leader. And he is not playing. He wants to get right down to it. Um, Cooper Stax uh, is trying to um, solve the case. He believes his ghost as well. He goes to Angela's sister telling her he needs an autopsy so that he can prove and, you know, finally lock ghost up. She's like, look, you know it was him. Just lock him up. She's pissed off. Just crazy. Great scene right there. We see that um, Tasha is... Be not Tasha. What's her name? Lala's character. Keisha. Lakeisha is becoming a ride-or-die chick for Tommy. Uh, Tommy gives her the gun that he used to kill Angela, and she's thrown it in the river. Now, she went from a business owner to now all head over hills in love with Tommy and just ride or die and doing anything for Tommy. And poor Tommy, Tommy has nobody now except for uh, Keisha because his father's dead. His mother's, he never really was close to her. He did old girl, the white girl that he was dating a few seasons back. He had to kill her. He just can't get a break. So now here he is with Lakeisha. Let's see how long this is going to last. Let's see. Is he really into her? Does he really love her? Or is this just what's left? And he's just dealing with what's left. That's that's what I'm thinking like. And we'll see. But she's ride or dying with him right now. Like she's sticking it out with him. She's going all out for him. And you know, that's crazy. Okay. So Tommy is looking for an alibi. Goes to Tasha tells her what he's done and tells her he was trying to really kill ghosts and she's like why would you do that and he explains to her why and he's telling her he needs an alibi of course i'm like these people are crazy y'all supposed to be friends y'all supposed to be tight you're telling her you want to kill her husband who she has kids with you're the uncle it, it's it's just crazy of course tasha's like i'm not giving you no alibi tommy also visits with the crew you know, they're back with him and he's telling them, look, I'm going to have you up and running. But Jason, the big man, said that he is not going to give them any supplies, any drugs or whatever, until the check that Ghost wrote is clear. Jason is also suspicious. He wants to make sure that Tommy and Ghost are cool. And we know Tommy and Ghost had to fight. And Jason is no fool. Jason's like, no, they're not. I'm not sure if they're too cool with each other. Anyway... At this meeting that Tommy has with the crew, he's explaining to them, you know, I'll get the money. You're going to get it later tonight. One of them is upset, like, I got a family to feed. I can't deal with this. So he starts popping off at the mouth. He's, you don't do that to Tommy. He's like, you ain't hit without ghosts. We all know what happened right there after that. He got popped and everybody else fell in line because, you know, Tommy does not play. We also see Tommy hanging with 
um, Tariq. And I thought, okay, what is Tariq up to? But this actually was a little heartwarming and a little funny. Tariq is paying tribute to Kanan. Rest in peace, Kanan. And he's releasing his ashes. And it was a funny scene because we see Tommy playing Bone Thugs and Harmony Crossroads. <laughs> and we know Tariq is too young. He probably don't even know what song that is. And we see uh, Tommy put a little bit of uh, Kanan's ashes in his weed and smokes it. So that's Kanan Kush. So that was a funny scene. Um, back to Ghost. Ghost is tripping, 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 tripping. This fool goes to Tasha, tells Tasha about Angela dying or being killed, and says that, that's the part that got me, tells his wife he lost the woman that he loves, the love of his life. Are you crazy? That is the homework. That's the one that helped. Put the nail in the coffin to your marriage and you're going to tell your... Are you crazy? You should have kept that to yourself. And of course, Tasha, um, Tasha in right fashion, what anybody would do, what I would have done, was like, you know what? I want a divorce. You're going to sit here and say that after all the... You're going to sit here and say that to me? Really? So she wants a divorce. She wants to know what happened um, to Silver. She's looking. He ain't telling her. We know what happened to Silver. And he's like, she's like pissed off. She's like, I want a divorce. That's that. That's it. Ghost, I don't know what's wrong with him. He's so in love. He also ran up to um, Angela's sister's house to speak to her. Dude, stop doing crazy stuff like this. She doesn't like you. She never liked you. She feels like you ruined her sister's life. Guess what? You did. And now her sister's dead. You ru helped ruin her career. And you ruined her life. The cost of her life because of your mess. She got tangled up in your mess. So I don't blame her for not wanting to be bothered with you. Not wanting to deal with you. Telling you stay the hell away from her. I would react the same way. But Ghost is bugging. He's also going up to Angela's apartment. Looking through things. Dude, you're a suspect. Stay away from that house. Stay away. What is wrong with you? But... That's what happens when you fall in love. You just lose your damn mind. Um, but he's out. He wants Tommy. He wants Tommy bad. So we see when the check clears, Jason and Tommy meet up again. Jason tells Tommy, let's take your car around the front of the warehouse. Little does he know, Ghost is out there waiting. Ghost is out there waiting. Ghost shoots Tommy's Mustang up, shoots that car up. So it appears, damn, did he kill Tommy just now? But I knew better than that. I'm like, there's no way. This is only the first episode of the season. So I knew he didn't kill Tommy that soon. So come to find out it was the old switcheroo because Jason is no fool. Jason has someone else take Tommy's car just to see if there was, if Ghost would go after him. He said, I knew he would do something. Now, are you going to run or are you going to fight back? And that's where that is. And we see Tommy also explain to Tasha uh, what's going down, that he didn't kill Ghost. It was Angela, and the, the gun he got rid of was, was the gun that killed Angela. And he's telling her, leave. And she's like, no, I'm staying. And I'm telling you, I'm not going. <laughs> she's staying. She's ride or die. This is interesting. This whole season is going to be interesting. I don't know what's going to happen next. I don't know who's going to get killed next. Every season, I'm like, how? what are they going to do next? How are they going to figure this out? What's going to happen here? What's going to happen there? And that is what I love about this show. So I'm looking forward to this. Can Tommy and Ghost, is it too far gone? Can these two reconcile and put their differences aside? Or are they going to, one of them just going to kill the other? Or are they, we just have to wait and see. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Anything I forgot you want to discuss, let's discuss it below. And I will see you on the next episode. Peace. I'm out. Love you.